NASA scientists have said there's over a hundred billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy, and there's hundreds of millions of galaxies, all teeming with billions of planets. This makes the likelihood of there being life in the universe very high, and this is why NASA and other space agencies are now making it their goal to visit various star systems, in the hopes of eventually finding life. It's likely it will happen, but the question is when and how long will it take? Mars is one location that many people have said life exists. One interesting photo is this one that was captured back in 2001. Amateur researchers noted that when first looking at the images, this one stood out as looking different, with some suggesting that NASA had captured a fossil of a mysterious creature. Amateur investigators have spent countless hours looking through old Mars photos in the hopes of finding something strange and some have said that images like these are a good starting point in order to work out if Mars ever hosted life. They point to new discoveries being made every year, and say that within the next few decades we could find solid proof that life once existed here. Although NASA and other space agencies have denied these claims, in recent years a number of interesting photographs have been presented by amateur researchers, saying that they could be proof of life on Mars in the form of fossils. These are backed up with photographs that have been sent back from the Mars rovers, and also by probes that have done flyovers, with some saying that this is definitive proof of life. NASA said the following about the image on their website. This photograph looks odd, like a plant, a fossil or some alien creature. Back by popular demand is Themis Art Image 73. These North Polar Dunes look odd, like a plant or a fossil. Note this image has not been radiometrically or geometrically calibrated for this release. An empirical correction has been performed to remove instrumental effects. A linear shift has been applied in the cross track and down track direction to approximate spacecraft and planetary motion. Fully calibrated and geometrically projected images will be released through the planetary data system, in accordance with planetary policies at a later time. The European Space Agency, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Organisations are now sending probes and rovers to distant planets, in order to see if they have the ability to host life. It seems that all this has done is work against the organisations, as people from various countries have managed to find mysterious anomalies on and around planets in our solar system, which they say that proves the Earth is not the only planet with life on it. One of the most interesting discoveries is that of the Mars tunnels. This discovery doesn't get much attention, but when it was discovered back in 1999, Many people couldn't wrap their heads around what the Mars Global Surveyor had captured. When the photographs were captured and sent around social media groups years later, various theories were put forward to try and explain what they were, and how they were created. One that received the most attention was that these photographs showed some type of ancient tunnel system. This for some was the proof that they'd been looking for and that these structures were proof that an ancient civilization had once called this place home. The Mars Orbiter Surveyor was launched on the 7th of November 1996. It had taken years to build this incredible piece of equipment, but it's noted by NASA as being the first successful mission to the Red Planet in over 20 years. The Orbiter finally reached the Red Planet back in March of 1999, where it would then go on to map the terrain from low altitude. Since this date it sent back thousands of images, interestingly many of which haven't been studied by researchers or scientists, and which some say do hide interesting anomalies that could help us understand the planet's environment better. This early survey was able to tell scientists a lot about Mars's surface, environment, atmosphere and interior, the camera that was on the Mars Orbiter was able to send back some incredible images that would help us understand how we would approach the planet in the future when it came to missions. 
During this mission though, the spacecraft sent back some interesting photographs that some say can't be explained using natural explanations. As mentioned, one of the most interesting ones is that of the glass tunnels. These mysterious tunnels have been described as looking like large impressive structures. They have the typical shape of what you'd expect a tunnel to look like, and are now partially covered by the surface's terrain, causing some to say that these structures are tens of thousands of years old. Interestingly, other high quality photographs shows these tunnels as looking partially transparent. This was one of the first things that people noticed about them, with some saying that because of this translucent like quality, it made them stand out against the Martian backdrop. There's even others that went down a different route, and suggested that what we're looking at could have been a creature, saying that we can't begin to imagine what other life forms look like, and that they may look completely different to animals that we have here on Earth, while others said that what we're looking at could be an ancient graveyard. This theory was suggested after some compared the structure to looking like whale bones, Another idea is that these tunnel-like systems were created by giant iceworms. Iceworms are known to live in gravel beds or on the banks of glacial ice, and some have suggested that this is what we're seeing here but on a much larger scale, again suggesting that many years ago these creatures existed and carved out these large tunnels. However, some have said this doesn't explain why the tubes appear to be partially transparent, and this has caused some to put forward the idea that these were created by intelligent beings. Space agencies have said though that these are not tunnels, but rather are natural dunes that have developed. NASA even came forward and backed up this statement. David C. Pierre of Earth and Space Sciences Division of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory said that there's nothing mysterious about these glass tunnel anomalies, and that what we're looking at is just a Martian dune. Dr. Pieri is respected, but some have disagreed with his statement, especially when they've gone on to compare the alleged anomalies with a Mars dune, saying that the two are not similar. Some even went on to say that David hadn't viewed the zoomed in images, and had just received the original images that looked completely different to the crop version. The discovery has been at the centre of an interesting discussion, which is, is there life on Mars? Regardless, it seems that believers are sticking to the idea that these are genuine tunnels, either created or dug out by something living on the red planet. Mars is the planet the people look to for life, perhaps because it's within reach, and that it's constantly being featured in the mainstream media. At the time, Dr. Jim Green said that recent Mars missions could be a real success in finding life, he did say though that he doesn't think that people would be ready for this news. It's no secret that we've managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time, and in regards to space, although it's massive, we have discovered some incredible things. At the time, Dr. Jim Green said the following about these missions. I've been worried about that because I think we're close to finding and making some big announcements. It will start a whole new line of thinking. I don't think we're ready for the results. Interestingly, some have said they think we're close to discovering life on other planets, and they say this is because it seems that space agencies are gearing up to explore space more. For example, they use SpaceX and Space Force as examples, and say they think Space Force was established because they're trying to tell us something. Other countries have shown a massive interest in space, this includes China, who not long ago made history by landing on the dark side of the moon. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.